This ocean scene was modeled, rendered, and animated all within Form Z. Each object represents a different modeling or animation feature, and there is a separate demo movie for each item. In this presentation, we will model, render, and animate the splitting of these two membranes along the bottom of the ocean floor there, including the tentacles that are twisting and turning inside, and the nebula structure of the membranes as they sort of pulsate and separate into two different clusters that then separate from each other. So let's see how this was done. We begin by creating the red strands that are inside of the cell by using uh, the, maybe the star tool. And we will animate that. Uh, we'll give it a twist deformation. And we can animate the twist parameters. Uh, actually, we're just going to animate one single track. We're just going to take the uh, twisting angle and have that change over time. So let's set that to uh, start at uh, 240 degrees. And then over time, we'll have it uh, twist all the way to a minus 240. So if I were to play that back, uh, you can see all we're doing is uh, changing just the twist angle uh, on that object. Now to create the set of red strands for the other cell, uh, what we can do is create a second star. And with that, uh, we'll take that object and we'll simply drag and drop it into that existing animation track that we've already created with the previous object. So you can see that the other object takes on the same animation parameters. So we don't have to create a separate animation track for both objects. All right, at this point, uh, let's go ahead and create uh, sort of the membrane structure that's on the outside of these red strands. Uh, what we'll do is use metaforms. You can convert any object into a metaform object, or you can create metaform objects directly as balls or spheres or elliptical type shapes like we have here. Now at this point, these are just wires. There's no solid or surface information there. So what we can do is take these two objects and uh, put those into a group, which will form an implicit meshed surface around the wires of those metaform objects. So you can see if I were to take one of those objects and move those around, you can see that the implicit surface on the outside is constantly re-evaluating itself based on the position of where those metaform objects are. So let's animate uh, one of the metaform objects. Let's take this first elliptical metaform shape and we'll have that rotate over time. So let's rotate it eh, about 180 degrees. So now as I play that back, uh, you can see that that uh, one metaform object slowly rotates, and you can see that that implicit surface is constantly changing. Now, for the other metaform object, let's do something a little bit different. Let's go into the uh, Animation Manager dialog, and what I'll do is I will rotate that, but I'll uh, rotate that using a noise controller. So what I can do is set a certain uh, level of randomness uh, to how that object rotates over time. So we'll just set uh, the actual angle and the actual frequency of how often I want that to change. So uh, play that back, and you see now that second sphere is just sort of randomly rotating with that noise filter. All right, um, let's take both of these metaform objects, and what I'm going to do is make a copy of them. So as I paste those back in, uh, I can take those two objects that I pasted in and put those into the same group. So now what I have is four different metaform objects that are twisting and turning and rotating over time in the one implicit surface that wraps around those. So now in order to animate this as the two cells sort of split away from each other, what I'll do is I'll grab the first star and two of the metaform objects, and I'll move those away from the center. And I'll do the same thing uh, with the remaining objects. I'll take the other star and the other two metaform objects and simply move those off to the side. So now if I were to wind the timeline back, uh, you can see I can go ahead and play that. Uh, and you can see that the star and the two metaform objects for the one cell transition off to the left and the other objects transition off to the right. And that's how we create that animated sequence. So I can turn the metaform objects off to look at just the implicit surface, and I can turn off the grid and the axis, and also the show edges of the implicit surface that's meshed around there. 
Now at this point, this is Interactive Shaded OpenGL. Uh, for the final rendering for the movie, what I'll do is modify the server style parameters. Uh, for the reflection, what I'll do is assign uh, a glass accurate for the outside membranes. And uh, what we'll do is uh, assign uh, maybe index of refraction of water. And for the red strands inside, uh, we'll convert that into a center edge transparency so we can have a different level of transparency between the outer and inner edge of the objects. So if I were to render that in render zone, uh, you can see uh, the glass accurate type reflection giving it sort of a mucousy look uh, to the outside of those membranes. And here's the final movie, all modeled, rendered, and animated, all within Form Z.